Hey guys, this is me Ammar and welcome back to our channel Ampnix. In this video, we are going to see how to design the schematic in KiCad. So, for designing the schematic, you have to click here in dot KiCad underscore schematic. So, I will double click here. Once you double click here, so you will land up in schematic editor. So, what you have to do initially, you have to fill the data in the sheet. So how can we do that we have to click here in file then you have to click on page setting then we will issue the date we we can write the revision so for now i'm keeping it version one point then you can put the title so i will put the title of this project you can mention it here whatever you are designing then in the name of company we can put our organization name then in comment i can i will write my name design by md amar kali then hit ok and sometimes it happens like we are working on a complex circuit where we will find a large amount of components so this sheet might be smaller in that case so how can you use bigger sheets so you have to click here in file then again you if you select the page setting so you can change the size okay you can use it according to your complexity level so as of now i'm gonna use the default one which is a4 then hit okay all right so for adding the component there are two methods either you can use the shortcut key a or you can just click here okay so i will double click here so once you double click there then this pop-up will reflect and here you have to search the component what you want to search so uh, i need a ams triple one seven a 3.3 volt regulator all right so i will double click here okay and for zooming and zoom out you can use the scroll wheel in your mouse okay and uh, if you want to add more components just you have to click the left click on mouse so if you click again left if, if you again do the left click on your mouse so you will land up in this pop-up so we will search for capacitor so i will type c so we will double click here and i need three more capacitors so what i can do i have to go here place symbols and i have to search again for capacitor either what you can do just select this capacitor and use control plus d shortcut key control plus d control plus d all right and if you want to move any component here to there so first you have to select that component then press the left first you have to select the component then press the left button in your mouse and move it here to there in your schematic sheet all right so i'm gonna keep it here and i need few more components such as a terminal block so we are going to search for two terminal block so i will search two is true terminal okay so i will keep it here and control plus d i will rotate it and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mirror it also okay perfect and we need an indication led also so that we can check it either our power supply is working or not so again shortcut key a and for led we will search here led okay and just r for rotation if you want to rotate any component use shortcut key r okay i will place it here i need a resistor also so again shortcut key a or you can click here or just click left in your sheet so you will land up in the this pop up so for searching register i will type r and double just and just double click here
okay now press the escape button we have to wire it up for wiring these components it's very simple when you go there you, you can see this green line or you can directly connect these stuffs and we need a power symbol for ground so for adding the power symbol you can click here okay and we will search for ground and we will double click okay and just wire it up or you can uh, make uh, like individually grounds or you can just connect all of them together so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna connect each one of them together and now if you want to beautify it more so you can adjust the component from here to there what i can do i can like uh, rotate it or i can shift the place of the component so you can do this also because this is something which makes your schematic readable so you can always use this approach to make your pcbs or to make your schematic layouts more readable all right so in this way our schematic is completed now we we have to update the values of these component so here we need to upload the value of this register so i will write here 2k2 all right the value of this register is 2.2 kilo ohms and this capacitor is about 10 microfarad okay and this is about 0.1 microfarad And again, this is 10 microfarad, and this is 0 0.1 microfarad. Alright, so in this way, you can update the values of your components also.